Is there something you can do about it? or not? The honest answer is that there are so many things in our lives that we don't control. We don't control our health, we don't control other people, we don't control the weather, world politics, the economy and catastrophes. But what do we then control? Well, a group of philosophers that lived about two millennia ago in ancient Rome and even further back in ancient Greece developed a concept that helped many people ever since to distinguish what is actually reasonable and worth worrying about and what just drives you mad and is a waste of your time. And it's called the dichotomy of control. And how it works is that you divide every worry and every problem you have into two categories. On the one side, things you control and things that are up to you. And on the other hand, things you have no influence over that are not in your control. And to help us understand what this actually really means, let's have a look at a quote from one of the Stoic philosophers called Epictetus. He said, some things are in our control and others are not. Things in our control are opinion, pursuit, desire, aversion, and in a word, ever are our own actions. Things not in our control are our body, property, reputation, in one word, whatever are not our own actions. What all of this means is that we can't always control what happens to us. The only thing we can control is the way how we react. Life throws shit at us and all we can influence is how we respond. No matter how hard we try, we can't just snap our fingers and change other people, world politics, our health or even something as massive as climate change. But there's a pretty good chance that there nevertheless are certain steps that we can start taking right now. When we try to control something that simply cannot be controlled by a human being, we feel powerless, we feel anxious, and it feels like no matter what we do, we are destined to fail. But the Stoics would say that this is simply not true. Our worrying and suffering stems from our misconception about what we actually control. The Stoics' advice is to be clear whether your problem is within or without your control, and even if there's even the slightest wiggle room for you to act Act and to do something about it. If no, don't worry. If yes, do everything you can to achieve it. Once we finally think clearly and understand what is in our power and what is not, we can let go of so many, many worries in life and which will then lead us to our desired goal. A modern example of the dichotomy of control is this. Admiral James Stockdale, one of the most highly decorated officers in the history of the US Navy, who actually studied Epictetus, was with his plane shot down during the Vietnam War and became a prisoner of war for seven years. He spent years in solitary confinement. He was tortured and he went through a lot. I, that, I, shut down that torture system. And, After he uh, became free, James Stockdale said that Epictetus' teachings were crucial for his survival during his time as a prisoner of war. He quickly realized that the only way to survive this hell was to decide what was up to him and what was not, in order not to lose his mind and to do everything that was within his control in order to survive. The world seems scary at times. People talk us down and our own negative voice doesn't really make it better. But the Stoics urge you to start to see things clearly. Is there something you can do about it? No? Then don't worry. Because if you worry about it or not, the outcome will be the same and you just waste your nerves and time. But if the answer is yes, then go ahead and do that thing as if it was the last thing you could do. Many people once have heard the serenity prayer and this perfectly sums it up. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.